welcome back to my channel. Today I have a look inspired by Blaze the Cat. She won the vote last week on here and I'm pretty happy with what I've come up with to represent her. So if you want to see how I did this makeup, just stay tuned. Okay, so I don't have this wig as part of my wig tour, so it's not going to be there. <laughs> I think I'm going to name it Flo. Anyway, my contacts are the Akaten Yellow from Unique So. I do have a discount code for them. I believe it's just Graveyard. And my brows I did with just the Milani brow gel that I always use, but then I put some like Sugar Pill Bulletproof to make it black towards the like the tail end so that it matched a little bit more with the roots of this wig. And then I just did a little bit of concealer and powder as per usual because no hate foundation. And I did the Beyond the Pale Ashen and Contour and Polish Bone Highlight, both from Apocalyptic Beauty, discount code down below. Also, I guess speaking of discount codes, uh, I always have one for Unearthly Cosmetics down below as well, and I'm gonna be using this today. This is the Sorry Mom Magnetic Palette, and I put inside, which, by the way, it comes empty, it's just a magnetic palette. I put the face bundle in there though, so this is also from Unearthly Cosmetics, and look at me in the eyes and tell me that these two are not the most blaze the cat colors ever. So we're gonna use those and let's get started. We're gonna go ahead and start with this NYX Joe Boy pencil in milk and I'm gonna start by putting this all over my lid to kind of just prime it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and smooth that out with the Unearthly Cosmetics brush uh, UC84. Okay, and same brush, I'm just cleaning it off a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and set the inner portion of the eye, probably over to the halfway mark using a Taco by Sugar Pill. All right, cleaning off that brush again, and I'm gonna go in with, so these are all blushes and highlighters, right? So I'm thinking that this purpley one is gonna be more of a highlighter and definitely more sheer. So I'm gonna go in with this blush, and hopefully it's very pigmented. And I'm applying this to the outer V. Kind of just plopping the color on with this brush, and then I will go in with another one to blend it. Remember, we are putting this on like directly on top of the jumbo pencil, so I like to place shadows right on top when I'm setting areas rather than uh, uh, blend them right away because sometimes the brush can get like stuck if that makes sense or like gunked up There we go. Just set it like that and then I can go in with a fluffier brush Let's use the A5 take a little bit more but brush them off and then blend it All Right now I'm gonna go in with the purple I'm going in straight with that fluffy brush this time and I'm gonna like kind of overlay this in the center of the lid Yeah, I expected this to be a very soft color. So this is like a good transitional shade with a little bit of shimmer in it. Okay, and while I still have this palette out, I think that I'm gonna run a little bit of the pinker shade underneath. All right, next we're gonna go in with the Witching Hour palette, also by Unearthly Cosmetics, and I'm gonna be using Potion down here, which is like a deeper matte purple. I'm gonna start with the same small brush, again, just to place this in the outer V, and then I will blend it. All right, we're keeping the shadow very simple because I'm gonna try to do like a graphic liner. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch to the good old Snazzery Black Body Paint. I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of water. Again, disclaimer, as always, this is not for your eyes. Do not copy me. I'm gonna be using this Unearthly Cosmetics brush, the UC811, and we're just gonna go for it, I guess. Not a whole lot to explain here. That's pretty cute, right? Okay. I'm gonna take a little bit of bulletproof and I'm going to fade in this corner like I like to do and add a little bit of it to my waterline. I'm to curl these lashes. And I'm just applying CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume Mascara. Got that secret tunnel song from Avatar stuck in my head. I'm just gonna add like a little chunk of lashes to the outer corners. I think it'll help kind of elongate the eye and make it like a little bit more feline, if you will. And sort of while the glue is getting tacky, I grabbed my gem sheet and I have, this one is like a fuchsia red that is like just the same color as what she has on her forehead. And I'm gonna grab two of those and put them on the corners of my eyes. Not great, but I already used my once a year really good lash uh, application on Rouge, so 
you have to wait till next year. So for lipstick, I don't know why, but I'm kind of feeling using uh, Copenhagen by NYX. I think this is lighter than I think it is, and it might go well with like the pinky tones. Yeah. All right guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you liked this video, please leave it a like, subscribe if you wanna see more, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.